Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little while and that's because I've been moving back to the university campus. I moved into a nicer new office so it took a while to clear out all the junk from my old office. But it's great to be back now in this nicer place and I've got a nice room off to the side there for 3D printing and VR work and I'll maybe show you that in a different video. This quick video today comes from a request, one of the subscribers, Dr. Mohammed Altanisik. I got he got in touch uh, to say he was interested in how you might separate out very small bright spots from an image. Now this is an image of the retina, blood vessels in the retina, with some little bright spots that need to be selected out. It combines a few of the techniques that I've covered in other videos and it involves thresholding, shape descriptions and then some logical operators like AND images, so ANDing images together. So it'll be a quick one but hopefully the technique is perhaps quite useful to you for whatever your application may be. So we're using image J here rather than VJ just to keep things simple. You can see I've got an image of a retina. Let me just zoom in and show you that what we're interested in is to try to pull out the little bright spots, if at all possible, from the image. So the way I would approach this would be first of all to adjust the brightness and contrast. I'm going to try to make a mask. So I want to catch only the very brightest spots. Now it's difficult to get it absolutely perfect. A little bit of brightness and contrast. You could do some sharpening and some low pass perhaps. You would have to experiment. Let's go with that for now. I'll apply that. Okay, and then I will change the type to 8-bit. So I now have an 8-bit image which I'm going to threshold. And I will try to find a nice level of threshold where I get the very brightest spots. Again, probably really difficult to get all of the spots, but... And it will change from image to image, but... I'll go through the process just to give you an idea of how you might approach this problem. Okay, let's go for that. I'll apply that. I have a binary mask. Now you'll see that I have very long thin structures and some little clumps. Now if you use the analyze particles option to measure objects you can ask for the circularity value. A perfect circle has a circularity or a roundness value of one. A straight line has a value closer to zero. So the small clusters should have a shape factor circularity of close to one. The long thin objects, presumably blood vessels in the retina, will have a different shape factor closer to zero. So let's go to our Analyze Particles and we'll tell Analyze Particles that I want objects that are at least 5 pixels so I don't want single pixels, they have to be 5 pixels or bigger and the circularity has to fall within 0 0.7 to 1 so close to the, the circularity side of, of shapes, factors and we'll show the masks and let's just see what happens Okay, gives us a, a map of spots. We don't need the actual results in any of that. So, in fact, let's. So you can see that it's pulled out the spots, a little round from the from the straighter points. Now, what I want to do is to do an AND operation and this image with this image so that I use this image here as a mask 
the image on the, the left as a mask to pull out the objects on the right. So everything in the right hand image which is underneath the mask on the left hand image. So I go process, uh, image calculator, uh, my mask is DRP42, mask, sorry, mask, and this is DRP4, looks like one, and create a new window, yes, okay, and here's my image. Now it looks the same, the two images look the same, but of course the binary mask is all just black, whereas the new image has intensity as you can see. And if we add a lookup table to that, you'll see that it it has each of the objects has some intensity. And that's it. So that's how you extract information using binary masks, round binary masks from this image here. I hope that was useful. And if you like these types of videos, please remember to give it a thumbs up, uh, like the video, and think about subscribing to the channel. And as long as people keep watching these image analysis videos, I'm happy to keep making them. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.